I'm Shamari with Maxcess Technical Services and I'm going to show you how to set up a Polaris DP30. Now we'll go over connecting an offset pivot guide with the servo center feature and an edge sensor to the Polaris DP30 controller. The Polaris DP30 controller has two ports for connecting your sensor, ports X4 and X5. The connectors are keyed and you'll just twist them to their tight. We'll connect our servo center sensor to our port X2. And finally, the offset pivot guide will connect to drive 1 on port X1. For your specific cable connections, be sure to reference your system block diagram, which is located on your CD manual. To put the system in servo center mode, press the servo center button, labeled B. Now the system is on machine line center. To select the correct sensor, press your sensor button repeatedly until the correct sensor is displayed. You can verify you have the correct sensor selected by moving a piece of material in and out of your sensor and monitoring the bar graph on the display. We'll now calibrate our edge sensor using this blue metal strip as our material. To calibrate your edge sensor, first press the setup button and press enter to select your basic menus. Then you'll press your right arrow until you see calibration and press enter to select calibration. Verify you have the correct sensor selected. If you need to change the sensor, press your sensor button. Once you have the correct sensor selected, press enter. At this time, verify there's no material in your sensor and press enter. Now the screen will tell you to cover your sensor completely. Then press enter. Once the calibration is successful, the Polaris will escape back out to your main menu. Now I'll perform an auto setup using this blue strip as our material with tension. To perform the auto setup, you'll press the setup button and press enter to select the basic menus. Next, press your right arrow until you see Auto Setup and press Enter. Our basic edge guide system is now set up and ready for use. For cable connections specific to your system, please be sure to reference your system block diagram, which can be found on the CD Maintenance Manual, which is included with your order.